Hello everyone, it's Webhouse TV again. In today's uh, Microtech Steps and tutorial, let's talk about the uh, hotspot and PPPoE configuration on the same interface. All right, on a usual setup, kasi, no, uh, we have the LAN one um, as the ISP. Others are configuring the hotspot and PPPoE connection separately. Others are using two, three, and four for hotspot and three and four ports are for PPPoE. Uh, so that's going to work, no? So that's okay. But on this case, let us see if we can configure uh, all the uh, LAN ports uh, with a uh, hotspot and PPPoE connection all at the same time. Okay, so let us uh, start configuring our router from scratch. So let me uh, reset this, no? Uh, to zero configuration. Right. So while it's restarting, let me show you uh, the script that I have right now for this setup. So we only have a few scripts uh, that we can use. Okay. So uh, speaking of the script, as you can see right here, I have uh, my uh, LAN 1 configured as for ISP. Ethernet 2, 3, 4, and 5 are for hotspot and TPPoE connection since this is the uh, same interface. Here are my interface lists. Okay, so we can remove this script from here. And then our hotspot profile, my uh, uh, hotspot, prof uh, hotspot portal, I mean, is 10.0.1 with this uh, VNS name. Alright, and then my IP pool ranges are here. Uh, this is for my PPPoE pool. It's 20.0.0.2 up to 254. And my uh, hotspot pool naman is from 10.0.0.2 up to 254. And here is my uh, uh, PACP server. I think I can. Uh, yep. This is the uh, configuration and for the uh, hotspot. Uh, yep, this is my hotspot name, Webhouse TV. And I have uh, a sample profile that we can use for testing. We have 30 Mbps uh, upload and download, and the profile is 30 Mbps, of course. And for our uh, PPPoE account, our profile is already here with 10 BP, uh, 10 Mbps of uh, speed limit and I use uh, the uh, Google DNS and then for our bridges we have uh, LAN 2, 3, 4, and 5 uh, configured in one bridge port and then here's our uh, interface list member and then our PPPoE server is also configured already then our IP addresses are here. Let me just correct the script. Again, 10.0.0.1 slash 24. Alright, and then we have the uh, DHCP server network using uh, the Google DNS. This is for the hotspot. Okay, and then uh, the firewall net. These are important as well. And then we have a hotspot user that we can test shortly using a 30 Mbps speed. Okay, and this is also the uh, PPP, uh, PPPoE account that we will be using in the next few minutes. And of course, a system clock and the manual clock. Okay, so these are the scripts. So let us now connect to our Winbox. The first use. interface uh, all uh, back to zero configuration and to double check 
color fireballs, mat, and mangoes are all blank as well. Okay, so let's now start to transfer or copy all the scripts that we have. Super easy language. Okay. Go. Alright, so let's start from the first uh, two scripts. Right click, copy, new terminal, paste, enter. Okay, so you can see they're automatically added. No need to configure them one by one since we have the script already. This, this is the good thing about a script thing. So if we have the script ready, we can just copy and paste them. If all the configurations from the script are correct, then we need to put them uh, manually. Okay, and then paste. Okay, so let's close. Let's continue from IP pool down to a PPP profile. Alright. And then from the interface bridge port, let's copy and then I think from here we might get disconnected. Right click and paste. Yeah, disconnect now at time, but that's alright. Let's reconnect. And just to make sure we've copied all the interfaces let's double check them bridge and then the ports as you can see here uh, wala yung uh, ethernet 5 so we have to copy all of them again and then paste all right so the ethernet 5 is now added let's continue from interface list down to DNS. Copy and paste. Enter. And now let's go to our firewall net. First, let's check. Okay, we have a few things right here already. And copy all the way down to the system clock and copy new terminal and paste enter alright so as you can see now the hotspot connection and PPPO connection are now added in our firewall map alright so so let's now test if everything is okay alright so let's now check first with our hotspot connection so let's go to IP hotspot we have the profile already added since we have the script copied already our username to be used as webhouse db with 30 mbps speed okay that's what we have our portal 10.0.1 and then i think something is wrong let's find out Let's check first the winbox, go to quick set. Yep, we've got uh, an IP address. Yep, the system is already up to date to the internet should be fine already, so just triple check. It's in Google. Yep, we have a thing already now, so that button is in the files. I wonder why I need to make an active portal here. Second time around, nope, it's not working either. Let's troubleshoot what seems to be the problem right here. Let's check our IP hotspot again, and then the servers. Okay, I'm gonna check. Let's add the server profile. 7.0.1, yep, it should be working. Let's close everything out, and uh, let's see. Up, yep, here we go. Yep, here's the portal. 10.0.1. And then our username is 
Web House TV. Click on Connect. Alright, it's now connected and then let's open up Speed Test. And again, this uh, Web House TV Hotspot account is configured up to 30 MPS. to the internet is ready to use let's close this and then of course let's double check as you can see right here we got the uh, PPPOE connection uh, active and for the speed test as we know this profile has 10 uh, megabytes per second only so therefore this should give us at least uh, 8, 9 or 10 Mbps of fast speed so far so good and there you have it okay so everything is working from hotspot connection and to our uh, PPPOE connection take note our computer right now is connected using uh, the uh, uh, LAN cable Right, which is uh, actually connected into the LAN uh, number 4. Okay, let me just show you uh, my physical set. Okay, let me just close this. Uh, oh, disconnect to the uh, LAN port or to the broadband PPPOE. Okay, and then I'm going to. Yep, show you that from here I have the LAN 4 connected. If I will go back to my portal, point one. From here, point one. As you can see, Webhouse TV from the hotspot is still connected. Right, so we are uh, currently using a single interface which is uh, our desktop is connected using a LAN cable in the LAN 4 so we've uh, logged in using the hotspot at the same time we tried uh, logging in using the hotspot uh, the PPOE connection all at the same time all right so I hope you learned something uh, on this video 
and if you like my uh, tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so thank you so much once again this is webhouse tv saying thank you and goodbye